Hi, this is Milton City Councilman in District 2, Post 2, here to talk to you a little bit about development inside our city of Milton. You know, one of the biggest challenges that we have in the city has been the growth that we've had and our existing zoning that we've had that's been in place really as an idea since 1920 is what we've employed in order to be able to try to maintain our rural character of our community. Sadly, what people don't understand is that the technology is caught up. Developers are able to take AG1 zoning and maximize just about every single parcel that they can get on that land. And in doing so, our law that we have created forces homes to be spread out in such a way that the equestrian aspect of our community can no longer exist. Here is a fact in the city of Milton. Not one AG1 subdivision that's been built in the last 10 years has either kept the horses that were already there on that property or given us one as our comprehensive plan tells us to do. Now here's an important point. The citizens saw this in 2011 and told us to implement a certain directive called conservation subdivisions in order to be able to preserve the equestrian aspect of our community. Now as a council and as a member of that council I swore to uphold that very idea and that vision. We've had a developer with this land behind us that came here to actually implement that very concept. What it would have done on these 64 acres is moved 48 homes in such a way to save 35 acres of contiguous green space, to give us two miles of walking trails, and actually keep this field behind us to stay in equestrian pasture. Unfortunately, because of our previous bias to AG1 and because of looking at unjustified fear, we decided as a council to not pass that process. Here's the thing, this property behind us is still gonna get 48 homes. We killed two miles of walking trails, we killed a horse pasture, we killed 35 acres of contiguous green space. We added 53,000 square feet of asphalt and 2,300 trees are gonna be cut down. This is not the foresight of a council of the city of Milton. This is something that we need to fight for. I, as your city councilman in District 2, Post 2, will continue to fight for the 2030 comprehensive plan. I will understand that the 1920 laws that we have are out of date. We need to start looking at new ideas that actually achieve the very objective that we said we would hold most dear, which is the equestrian aspect of the city of Milton. This is Matt Coons in District 2, Post 2, and I'm fighting for our rural character.